Robert Pires, 777 coins. Now, technically, this is free. Because with a daily bonus, if you don't miss anything, you'll get seven, 777 coins back. Now, if you're one of those guys who doesn't spend, I think if I wasn't spending money on this game, collecting my favorite players, favorite legends, I'd be delighted to get an epic like him, to be fair. Because number one, he goes to level 32, which is decent. Sure, he's a winger with low finishing, right? He's right-footed plays on the left. Cut and cross, cut and finish. But obviously, if you want to make him a natural winger, then you can go speed 90, acceleration 90, balance 90, ball control, dribble in tight position, all that 90. Easily green tier, low pass, and lofted pass. If you are lucky enough to give him SS or AMF, then you want to give him more finishing. But generally speaking, I think I think is a good value, in my opinion. So we're going to get him, and then we're going to train him, and we're going to give him a debut. Am I saying his name right? Any French people here? YouTube? Pires? Pires? Pierce? Tested UFL worse than FIFA. Why do you think I'm not jumping on the hype of a new game? If I don't like something, I'm not going to play it. Pires? Thank you, my life. My French is c'est trop. Very good. Well, we can't fit him in this setup, right? Can we? We can. Del Boy, son of Castulo. Appreciate I can do a sport, man. The OG. The OG. Thank you. Thank you. How you been? All right, dudes. For those of you who know, this will take five minutes. For those of you who doesn't, there are people on YouTube doesn't. There are people here who might, might not know. When you train players, I think you got a video explaining player status to player skills. You got to know these basic and you'll be able to train players much easier. His booster is agility. That means he's going to get two plus on speed, acceleration, balance, and stamina. When you use an 88 proficiency manager, that means you're going to get a total of five plus on these four abilities. And two plus on every other ability because of the manager's 88 proficiency in a way. Ryan Hole, thank you for the six months, man. Welcome in. Question is, do we have enough to train him? We do. Okay. Do not auto allocate. A lot of time auto allocate. There's no free reset. I almost messed up. This card changes. I'm so trigger happy. I was always. I got. I got used to the free reset. <laughs> got used to the free reset. That was close. Okay. So, if I want, want all these abilities to be 90, blue tier. If you're patient enough to wait and give him a says, like, let's say you don't spend money and you got a good epic. You want him to use in a place where he's going to play SS or AMF. I mean, God knows how many position trainers you're going to have to waste for him to get SS. And you have to double up on SS. So, <laughs> it might take a while. But if you're using a formation that you're able to play a winger, I think you can easily use him as a left winger while having a striker and make the other winger assess kind of tucked in. That setup works. A normal 4-2-1-3, you know, he's, he's white. Make the other right winger tucked in and make the AMF on the side close to him. So you'll have that triangle in a way. Because he's right-footed plays on the left only. You either cut in, do inward crosses, or you finish with him. Now, his finishing is not that great, right? If I give him three points, he's going to have 80 finishing. 85, 85. Now, if I want, if I want balance 90, then I'm going to have to give him 12 points here. We have to put him in a squad, and you'll see that. In here, if you want every ability, yep, I think that's what we need. So... That's what it looks like. Now, we put him on a team, we put him on a squad with a manager 88 proficiency. And... There we go. Pires. So, that's my, a lot of time people copy someone else's training, copy his formation, copy his tactic, etc. 
you have to always pay attention what kind of player you take advice from. Is he a long ball counter guy? Is he a quick counter guy? Is he a patient guy who dribbles? Is he a static meta player who just turns and goes, plays direct? You have to pay attention to all these if you want to take everything correctly in a way. The easiest formation really is 4 2 3 There are too many factors into it. We're not going to get into that because I want to play. But I think this is generally an all right training overall for a winger in a way. Wingers don't need a lot of finishing because your, your finisher is supposed to be a, your, your, your CF in a way. He's good enough to make a pass. In terms of skill, one touch pass, through passing, weighted pass, pinpoint cross, and he's got outside curler too. First time shot as well if you end up coming on the right and he's at the end of the ball. Long range shooting, chip shot control, long range curler doesn't matter. They nerfed, they nerfed general curl and long range curl to sell as blitz. They also nerfed headers. So they sell us bullet headers. You see where this is going, right? In terms of skills, honestly, I have a post on Discord pinned right at the top of it. It tells you basically best skills for each position. I think you might, those of you guys here or on YouTube, you might want to look into that. Because I don't know where you're going to end up using them. Are you going to use them as a segment fielder or as a winger? Because that makes a difference. Prolific, creative playmaker, it is active as a wing forward, I believe. Um, I don't think he's active as a CMF, though. Well, he doesn't play CMF. But I think on top of my head, when it comes to certain skills, I like cut behind and turn, personally. I like Marseille turn. I like my dribbling. But again, these are like press preface kind of stuff. So based on that skill that you want to give him, it depends where you're exactly going to use him in case you're going to give him SS. or all depends, man. If you're struggling regarding skills... But I think it looks decent, man. Look, we, we paid for, play, for epics like that not long ago, and we still do. Some of the epics I, I go for them, they're pretty much similar ability as this guy. With all honesty. I think it's a very decent um, free card. But that's my opinion on it on Perez. I'll use him more, and I probably will upgrade you guys on here and on YouTube about what I generally think of him in a way. If he gets enough time of play.